and now the lovely craft market. Whether you're starting out with fabric or you're an experienced sewer, we love to bring projects that every ability can really have a go at. So don't miss the Meal Shop Online shows on Hotanda. Hi, I'm Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp here in the UK. Teamwork makes the dream work. And at Clarity, we are designers and manufacturers of, dare I say, beautiful, top quality and award-winning craft products. We are home to the very first, the original transparent art stamp. We hand make them here in Kent and our talented illustrators are always coming up with new original concepts and wonderful artwork. In addition, we design and manufacture top quality stencils and masks. In fact, we also make precision cut reusable masks for our stamps. Since January 2017, we are also the new owners of Pergamano International, bringing together a wonderful blend of old and new parchment art. We are so fortunate to be able to showcase our newest and best products here on Hochanda and to be able to demonstrate our art ideas to you, our Hochanda friends. So if you would like to learn more about clarity stamping, stencil work, parchment art, both groovy and traditional, please join us, myself and the Clarity team, here on Hochanda for ideas and inspiration. Hi, my name is Maggie and I'm from Impressions Crafts. Um, I've been running my business now for 15 years. It's a small family-run business in the south of Cheshire. We have a large craft shop. And we sell all sorts of beading and jewellery supplies. Um, I have a passion for making jewellery. I love working with um, the Lucite style flower beads and we make thousands and thousands of angels and have been doing so for the last few years. We've been bringing uh, to Hachanda lots of lovely beading kits, jewellery, uh, for necklaces and bracelets and earrings and um, we also bring a wide range of angels and accessories, beading accessories like bookmarks and um, we also have our range of laser cut, uh, sun catchers and mobiles, all the lovely crafty beads. Hope you can tune into my shows and looking forward to seeing you on her channel. Of course, at Hutch, and now we are, have got a full day of crafting inspiration. And of course, following the uh, go government guidelines, we have got a lot of uh, guests c working from their homes. Uh, and of course, they are sending videos or tutorials. We have got here in the studio just one person that, well, apart from it, there it is, our Benjamin, our Ben uh, is there. So you can see social distancing and everything. Uh, we are following the guidelines here, uh, but we are trying to keep you inspired, uh, bringing you brand new products and amazing products at that. Hero Arts is, a star is, is this our first hour. Now, if you have never heard of Hero Arts is one of the um, kind of original uh, in I would say a rubber stamp company. It's a company with heritage decades even, I think 40 years in um, in the business. And of course, I'm based in uh, California, hence why it will be dispatched from the 6th of May, because of course they are have to uh, look at that time um, traveling back to the UK. I don't know what I said there. Mm, it's too early for me, too early. Anyway, let's concentrate on what is in front of me, which, uh, oh, and by the way, we will have a chat with Helen Pritchard, who is the one demonstrator for Hero Arts here at Hochanda. Now, this one, we have got uh, two options for the peekaboo toys. Now, if you're wondering, what is that? Look at that. So now we have got here, of course, uh, the uh, kind of ovals. So look at that. So uh, on any of the stamps images or pattern paper, it will create those little windows. So you can cut around it and score them. Now, of course, immediately when you see that, the uh, first idea that you may have is to make an advent calendar. But what about having hidden messages? Like uh, maybe a spell, or maybe, uh, maybe, um, hmm. Um, of course, the obvious one is, will you marry me? But uh, of course, there are other ones in there. I mean, you know, you, you, you know it's, it, that's a bit, you know, not, not every day that you send that one. But maybe you will say, uh, 
<laughs> and then you can see that one is the oval and then you have got the square one I actually favor the square one I do love or rectangle so that's a more a traditional advent calendar but also later on we are going to be featuring that gorgeous uh, envelope stamp as well which you can see matches perfectly so if you want to go for the rectangle or the oval is your choice you is a choice of 16 pounds and 99 pence is the price and you can see that we will cut and score all those little windows in there so ready to go and you can and I love how it has been designed because you are going to exactly see what you are going to put the these apertures into it so you know exactly where they're going to go now if you want to go for either of them the item number is the same 464066 is your item number and then you choose whichever ones you want then we have got of course stamps because we mentioned that of course Hero Arts is renowned for the, their stamps. Here we have got the um, you, 6 by 8 so you have got the, the options now you have got here the first option which is wish back and then we have got here the bookcase now in whichever one you go to you have got that main focal image now whether you are going for the wish back works really well on its own and you can see there gorgeous in color it. Then also you have got a smaller elements. Now those uh, smaller elements will fit perfectly inside of these peekaboo dies, but of course on their own are absolutely stunning. So and then we have got the bookcase which is I think my favorite because I love books but I also think that it's, it's an image that kind of you can highlight so for instance castles oh I love travel you got, got good food plants you have got fiction there Napa why we like a little bit of that a fiction animals look at that and then of course the little pussy cat is an egg here uh, written by great uh, red reed I mean so, you are special with love miss you ex libris as well if you want to put that into onto your books to make sure that they know that who is books and look at that I just kind of want to see that anyway if you want to go for one of these uh, stamps, your item number is 708520 is your item number. Now, finally, we have got another option for you, which is if you wanted to go for the pairs. If you wanted to go for the peekaboo, the peekaboo and the wish big pairs, um, these ones which make that perfect combination, you can go for the bundle 534442 is your item number. 32 pounds and 98 pence is your price. Now, I believe we have got Helen on the phone. Hello, Helen. Hi, good morning. How are you doing? I'm great, thank you. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Now, of course, we have got a fabulous hour here of Hero Arts, and I believe you have sent in some videos, so we are going to be seeing you, your demonstrations. Yes, yes, it's very strange filming from home um, and it can be quite difficult, you can imagine, with the family around. Yeah. But I've had some great fun with these products because they really are fantastic quality um, and something a little bit different. So, yeah, really enjoyed playing with these. Now, also, you mentioned something different and, and I completely agree, but also they are something different but very versatile. Yes, I mean, of course you can use them with the stamps that are on the show and they do work perfectly with those tiny little elements that come with them. But I found that you can use them with your pattern papers um, and any stamp that you have, you can make it just that little bit more exciting by putting those dies um, through with that stamp. And, and I love, uh, so will these dies will work with any standard die cutting machine that is an A5 machine more or less? Yes, yes. Um, it's worked with all the ones that I've got. It doesn't work on the very, very tiny ones, of you course, know. Yeah. Um, but yeah, all the standard ones that you've got, they work perfectly. Fabulous. Now, one of the things I have seen as well, like kind of a sneak peek, is the, the, the misty, the small uh, stamping platform. Sorry, I didn't quite catch that. So w one of the things that we have got in the show, because I know last time you were in here, you were very excited about the Misty Mini stamp tool. Yes, yes. It's such, I mean, it's really cute anyway, but yeah. it's just brilliant for doing these kind of projects because you can get it spot on every time where you want to stamp. It's a really great kit. So would you, it, it helps the position, doesn't it, to the stamps in the perfect place? Yeah, and um, 
we all stamp, um, miss stamp occasionally. We don't put enough ink on or we haven't put enough pressure in a certain area. This enables you to be able to put some more ink on, stamp again and get it in exactly the right position. So um, it's essential. <laughs> and of course, a MISTA is the original uh, stamp platform, isn't it? It is. And there is a big difference between um, the ones available out there. This one is such good quality. Um, it's going to be available for you for many, many years. Fabulous. Thank you. Thank you, Helen. Now, of course, you have sent some samples as well. You have been working really hard on it. I love what you have done. I cannot wait to see your demos. Um, now, you are gonna, we are going to do a Skype call as well at 10 o'clock, aren't we? Yes, yes, we definitely will. So I might put some makeup on for the first time in a really long time. <laughs> yeah, it feels weird, doesn't it? But of course, it's good to be safe and stay home as much as possible. Yes, I mean, obviously, my other job does entail the emergency services. So I'm still working um, and still doing all the other things. But, you know, crafting just brings me back down and makes me... Um, enjoy the rest of my mm -hmm. free time. Well, thank you for all you do and you, your other job. Uh, you know, you are one of the key workers. So thank we, I think in the name of all, the whole Hochanda family, we thank you and everybody at home, uh, everybody who is a part of the key service. Thank you. Uh, we're looking forward to speaking to you at 10 as well and watching all those demos. Thank you, Helen. See you soon. See you. All right. See you. Oh. She is uh, a lovely, isn't she, our little Helen? Anyway, so and moving now, let's move on to the next item. So we have got, now we have got a oh, red rubber uh, clean foam mounted. Look at that, isn't that glorious? Now, of course, here we have got a beautiful pattern and you can see there, look how deeply etched it is. Now these patterns, I always say, investing into a good red rubber, that has got you know that beautiful pattern will last you for ages it, it's absolutely stunning because it's one of those things that i have got a stamps from here uh, you know background stamps that they are maybe about 10 years old and i still use them because it's it the quality is there and they have got that timeless uh, you know nature that no matter what the style is you can always add that interest to the backgrounds your item number 065871 is your item number and of course the size is 6 by 6 12 pounds and 99 pence is the price now then we have got oh you know i did promise and i promised you that there was a mail stamp a set that will work perfectly with a pick a book and look at that that is matches perfectly but of course it can work on its own if you don't want die cutting you don't need to do it look at that oh sending cards and you can this one will work vertically or horizontally it's up to you because some of them go one way and some of the others you can make it really vintage if you wish to do so you can uh, oh, i love this sample uh because you can see how uh, i think helen has a stamp into a craft card a stamp and emboss in white and then color those ones as well and fussy cut around them how lovely does it look and how stunning and you know sometimes you just want to send love and this is the really nice way of doing that 9.99 is your price and remember it is red rubber uh you know cling foam mounted so it's a really good price for such a large stamp from here three one nine six seven three and now we have got goldfish now this is a die set and i love love this set. you know it's it's you know it's a bit it's one of those ones that you're thinking oh why do i need it well you need it because it's just different it's something that for instance do you ever feel like you do you want to do art journaling and you want to go to a, something a little bit different you want to create feelings of oh i don't know you know it's just, just being in a in a Kind of, you know what, I'm trying to think about it. There is something, it's like you are a ball of sunshine, things like I love you like a fish loves water. But also it's something a bit, if somebody's into fishing and somebody is into kind of, cannot have pets and then kind of having that sort of elements into it. I don't know, I'm wobble, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, look at that, I love this one. Look how gorgeous that is. I think that the Adams has made this one. It's, it's a really, really uh, lovely uh, girl as well in back in uh, California. I think she lives. Uh, but uh, there you have it. You have got the dice. Eight uh, nine seven four nine nine is your item number. Ten pounds and ninety nine pence is your price. Then we have got the stamps that sort of match the story because they have got the fish in here as well, and they have got the sentiments in there. 
And then those sentiments, you are a bowl of sunshine. I'm hooked on you. I like that. That's so cute. And of course, you can bring your colors into it and the bubbles into it, create scenes. Now, um, this would be perfect for my sister and her husband, who are both oceanographers. And uh, yeah, yeah, so they're both uh, oceanographers and they work in a research center in um, Mallorca. So they look at that. Look how gorgeous it is. And yes, in response to my uh, lovely producer, I do have an amazing family. I'm very proud of everybody. Look at that. Yeah. I always joke my sister is a research scientist and I'm a crafter. Um, you know, the situation of inter but anyway. Uh, 581391 uh, is your item number, 12 pounds and 99 pence. Uh, and then we have got the frame cuts, which are the dies that match perfectly to your uh, stamps. So these ones are, you can see the blade is right on the inside edge, so there is a perfect positioning. So you can, you know, they match it. So if I show you this, you can see exactly how it matches, okay? Right, so that is what it is. It's the dies, so you can uh, make it sure that you don't have to fussy cut in case you didn't know what it was. 626237 uh, is your item number 10 pounds and 99 pence. Now, then we have got the wave stamps. I love that one because uh, that has got like Japanese wood, uh, wood printing, wood cut printing that you know. Uh, look at that and if of course if you want to start kind of coloring into it that would be really lovely wouldn't it stamp and emboss into black and embossing powder something like that and then just take your favorite colors whether it may it be um, you know deep reds or or blues to create the sea and then also this will be perfect for a background when you want to create this you know more of a, a grass sort of feel uh, that would be absolutely stunning and stamp and emboss into green or maybe take your distress inks and spread some water but talking about inks we have got some very coming up uh, very interesting if you want to go for this ball print stamp remember it is a clean foam mounted it's a red rubber deeply edged six by six 12 pounds and 99 is your price six five seven four to nine is your item number then we have got dies as well here now these are so pretty i'm going to show you this one first because it has the aperture with those beautiful uh water lilies and um, of course uh, leaves as well as the fear look at that yeah, i think it's really pretty isn't it and then we are going to look at i think it's just gorgeous it's a bit different looking into the pond looking into the waters um you know it's, it's just kind of the friendship as well kind of sort of uh, element in here uh three, three two four four one four is your item number hero arts lily pond fancy dye 10 pounds and 99 pence is your price in there then we have got oh shimmer mist in here look at that so this is of course it has got um you know shimmer inside there and you can choose any two that you want so the choices are i believe that's the pink one pink metallic blue metallic i would imagine and white iridescent oh frost frost shimmer hmm wonder what it is so it's a frost shimmer well there it is there it is there it is um uh, there is this if you want to go for that so remember you choose whichever two you like a five two three nine four seven is your item number ten pounds and 99 shall i spray okay i have got some paper oh look at that gorgeous and then of course that will dry oh look at the blue and of course i'm gonna have to do the iridescent in the middle Oh, I do like that. Look at that. Uh, oh, yeah, it did. Okay, so thank you. I'm not going to put it in here. Oh, I like this. Shall I do a kiss technique? Oh, oh, I do like that. Can you, and, and you know, you can start seeing the shimmer, but of course, when it, once it dries, it will become even more prevalent. But look at that, can you see the hair? I love those colors as well. There it is. It looks like an elephant with the two eyes there. <laughs> I totally, I mean, I tried to do this in real life and never would. Oh, that looks, um, I mean, we are starting all seeing. There is a face here as well, there is a baby. You know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, 
<laughs> anyway, <laughs> things are happening, life on earth. If you want to remember that you choose whichever two you like, five, two, three, nine, four, seven is your item number, 10 pounds and 99 pence. Then we have got embossing powders in here. Now embossing powders, of course, that gives you, you need a heat gun or something, heat, and you have got here an option of a pick and mix. So whichever two you want to do, go for. So we have got in here, of course, the ultra fine, and I think this one is the ultra fine clear. Then we have got the sand. So oh, now that is lovely. Can you see? It's variegated. So this is perfect to create those scenes. Now also those seaside or the fish bowl or things like that but also think about wood grain and sort of kind of more naturalistic elements then we have got the sparkling sea so you have got here you can see hints of blue and iridescent color and then here we have got the white as well so white puff so that one will have some texture it won't be like an embossing powder sort of thing but it will have like a puffing thing so you choose whichever two you want for 9.99 your item number is 9.99546 then we have got of course uh, oh what well, we have got the misty the mini one of course it is these i think it's six by four uh no six by five so you can kind of use your stamps in here and kind of put perfect for sentiments and so much more uh four zero six five nine four is your item number 36 pounds and 99 pence then we have got ink pads now we have got here sets of three so there is bundles of colors already selected for you so you know they are going to work perfectly with you for you. this is a probably one of the most popular bundles because it has have the pool party so that turquoise color taffy that beautiful pink and grape lush. Now these ones are um, of course uh, water reactive which means that you can treat them like basically distressing so you can they are dye based so you apply them and then you spread some water and it will create that fall bleaching. I think if you want to see exactly I believe that is that color. Uh, let's see if I can find them. Uh, I think I'm pretty sure that is the right colors. There's that one. I'm not sure if it does. Yeah. No, no, they are not labeled. So I'm just guessing that that is the colors that you have got in here. Okay. So then that one is, of course, those colors. Uh, so 712158, that is your um, colorways. Isn't that gorgeous? I love these colors. Then we have got here a splash. Uh, well, how do you pronounce it? A crimsicle. Crimsicle? Crimsicle and lemon drop. So let's show you lemon drop, crimsicle, lemon drop, and then splash. Oh, I like that. Look at this. Look at that. That's summer, isn't it? Lemonade, oranges, and blue skies and blue seas. That is with sun. And then finally, we have got here uh, K lime. Key lime puffers, key lime, oops, sea salt, and then we have got blue Hawaii. So that would be, oh, lo that's, oh, I love that. I absolutely love That's Hawaii blue. And then finally, I guess that sea salt is, let's open it up, it's white. That's, you know, that's cool, isn't it? Right, so of course, season. Now, if you want to go for that, remember whichever option you want to go. 712 158 is your item number, 18 pounds and 99 pence. Now, I need to tell you about the end of call offer because uh, they are absolutely brilliant inks. I think everybody who has been using either the Intense Black or the Hero uh, Hughes creator, uh, the uh, Pigment Ink Bib Unicorn, have always loved them. Now, this will be on the website, so when you put you go to check out, it will ask you why not um, would you like to add these ones and they won't have PMP but it's something that you have to add to your order there you have it it's a free delivery add-on so the hero arts unicorn pigment ink pad for 6.99 or the intense black ink pad as well I believe the in black in one is permanent it's waterproof so you can use it for um, 
It's an alcohol marker friendly pad as well. So you can use it for watercolor as well as for uh, alcohol markers. So it's a hybrid sort of ink pad. Now, of course, you can add them. And also you have got the embossing one as well if you wanted to get some of those essentials. However, we, have, we promise you demonstrations by Helen. So here it is, the first one. Hi everyone, it's Helen here with some fabulous Hero Arts um, products to show you. Really have been having some fun this week in amongst all the other things going on in our household. As you can imagine, same as everyone else, bit of homeschooling, etc, etc. It's all good fun. But uh, let's get on with some really fabulous Hero Arts products. Uh, first things first, the Mini Mystery. This is amazing. They've got a larger one, which we are going to bring to you in a few weeks' time. But this is the Mini, and this is really portable, really easy to use. And it's good for clear and rubber stamps as well, uh, mounted rubber stamps. As you can see, it's got the deeper well for the mounted rubber stamps. And then you've got this nice bit of foam in there that you can put in there ready for some clear rubber stamps. You also get the magnet to hold down your piece of paper. And this is just some um, paper to lean on in case you want to sort of go off the edges a little bit. So let's talk about this fab first collection. This is the set of peekaboo dies. Now it comes with a square rectangular one and circular oval one. You can use them um, on stuff you already have in your stash, but they have brought out some fab stamps to go with it. Let's have a look at those. So this one here is the Venetian Neighbourhood. Absolutely gorgeous. I don't have a brand new sample um, to hand to show you, but you can imagine how much fun that's going to be. I'll show you some samples a bit later. This one is called Male Jumble. Love this one. I think this one could be uh, some really good fun. This one here is called The Bookcase. And this one here is called Wish Big. And you can imagine how many situations you can be using this one in. But for today, we're going to use the bookcase one. Love this. Really, really cute. I've always imagined um, living in a house with the secret doors behind a bookcase. Wouldn't that be so much fun? So I'm going to take my mini Misty here. And I've already cut a piece of paper to size. And we'll pop that in there. And the little magnet there just helps keep it in place. That mine have been well loved over the last couple of weeks. Really enjoyed playing with these. So I like the fact that you can position it wherever you want to pop your stamp. And then close the little door. And as long as your paper is put right in that corner, if we do miss stamp, we can always add some more ink and we can stamp again. I'm going to use the Hero Arts dye ink in black because it's a really, really good ink. And it's a bit of a unusual ink because this ink can be used with both alcohol and water-based products, making it really universal. Let's give it a good ink up. And a good push down. There we go. There's just a little bit missed. Let's move that magnet out of the way. And we'll just, as long as it's back in this corner, we know it's going to stamp in exactly the same place again. Let's just capture any parts that we've missed. Give it a good rub down. Oh, that's much better. That's lovely and nice and dark and deep, just how we want it. I'll clean that off later. While we're talking about inks, um, when we bought Hero Arts to you a couple of months ago, we bought these three inks, and I know that the white one in particular sold out completely. It is a fabulous white ink. It already comes pre-inked, so it's all good to go, but it's a very crisp white ink. You've got the beautiful black dye ink, and we've got the embossing watermark clear, which is really useful, especially if you're using embossing powders, or indeed you want to make a watermark. Really good fun for a tone on tone. Um, but back to the image, I've already started colouring mine because you don't want to watch me colour that whole image in. And I decided I was going to use a couple of different mediums because it's really good to mix and match them up a little bit. It's, it makes life a little bit easier. So what I did is I used a alcohol marker to colour the background. 
so I had a nice solid permanent background that wasn't going to move with anything else I was going to use with it uh, and then I started using my pencil crayons don't get them out very often but I really think they're really good fun and um, work really really well I wanted them to be nice and bright so let's carry on with our rainbow colors I mean who doesn't love a rainbow especially at this time it's really nice to see all the rainbows when we're out and about on our walks and they always make me smile so let's carry on with that lovely rainbow theme that we've got going on any pencil cranes will do whatever you've got don't need to be anything special these aren't watercolor ones so i didn't uh, stamp this on watercolor paper or card just adding some nice color there to these fabulous images I do think this stamp would be really great for anybody, you know, male, female, young, old. You can make this really Victorian looking and ancient looking, um, but it also suits quite a modern feel as well. I'm just going to take my silver pencil and I'm just going to add a little bit of shading just to that glass jar there and also to the, the picture frame that we've got and indeed the glasses as well. So let's talk about the dies that go with this. This is a beautiful image on its own. It doesn't have to be cut if you don't want to, but it's going to be really fun to put some little secret messages behind. So the dies. Um, we've got the two. We've got the roundy circular one and we've got the square rectangular one. And we can use either on any of the images. Um, and you can use them actually two different ways up. You can use them this way or this way. And you can decide where the little doors are going to go. But for me, I'm going to use the roundy circular one today. So I'm just going to get a bit of tape and I'm going to take that down so it stays in place when I run it through the die machine. We'll just line it up as best we can, just to make sure it's within the space. I'm just going to run this through down here. Unfortunately, we can't have everything on camera as we are working in a Quite a small confined space in my craft room. There we go. So the die actually cuts the outside as well, so we'll get rid of that. And as you can see, it's cut these little doors. I'm not going to poke them through just yet because I'd like it to stay flat while I stick it down, it'll just make my life a little bit easier. And what I've also done with both of my dies is I've cut them out of some craft card stock and I cut the doors off. So I can use these as a template. I'll show you why in a minute. Let's just move the picture out of the way. Now, I've taken some um, light blue card to go behind our main image. And I'm just going to take that template that I've cut. And you can see it makes life really easy to place the little messages and the little sentiments that we're going to put behind these doors so let's just stick this down just to keep it in place for us i'm going to do a bit of an angle it's easier for me to stamp and it doesn't matter if when i do it i get a bit of ink on the outside because this is just a template and i could obviously cut as many of these as i like so let's go back to our stamp set there we go and acrylic block so the stamp sets um do work really well with each other this one and this one come with lots of little sentiments and images that you can use and you can mix and match them and use them on each other or like i say you can just little put little messages in there yourself or handwritten things i think we should add the glasses because these are really 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 cute let's take some of that um, black ink that we've got just going to add some of these glasses on a couple of different ones you can repeat the image because they're not going to be looking at the every door open at the same time just clean that off and then I think I shall add some of my own sentiments in on the other spaces that we've got there. What should we do? Let's leave a little heart for our recipient. It can be absolutely anything you want and you can use obviously any pens or pencils that you've got. So how about a little star? 
miss you love you how about a flower so you can add whatever you want behind your little images then when we move our template out of the way we know that that's going to fit perfectly uh, behind our little doors so let's just stick this down and then we'll be able to open the doors and i'll show you what it will look like so i'll pop a bit of red liner tape just around the edge there's a very thin amount obviously making sure i don't go over any of those doors let's just get the covers off those and then i shall add just some glue um, i find a glue pen works really well and i'm just going to add it in between those doors it's quite good to put it where the door is going to be opening as in the hinge type side and that will keep everything stuck down when people start opening the doors and revealing all the little messages and then let's pop this over the top of our messages There we go. And <clears throat> his card I've already prepared. Now, because I'm sticking on to some glitter card, I think definitely we're going to use some PVA to stick down because double sided tape just won't work on the glitter card. So, pop a bit of that on. I'll stick that down on there. We'll give that a few minutes to dry. Um, I'll show you my actual finished sample. It's exactly the same. Only with this one, um, I've added the little cap you get in the set, and I've added a little bit of um, crystal clear lacquer or gel just to the glasses and the dome there and to the camera lens, just to add a little bit of uh, a little bit of a touch there, so you can see that shine in the light. And when the recipient gets the card, they can pop open any of our little doors and see the little messages that we've left behind. I love that picture book and just finding those messages hidden behind it. And of course, if you want to cre recreate it, you, you you can do that so by going for one of these peekaboo fancy dies. Remember, this is an option off, so if you want to use the one that Helen was using, of course, is that oval one, which is quite original, isn't it? And I don't think you could ever replicate it without having this die. Now you have got it here, the oval sort of a shape, and then of course the other option is a square or rectangle here. Uh, whichever one you go for, the item number is the same, 464066, and of course this is one of the cards that Helen did herself, and you can see there, they're hidden sunglasses, but imagine you don't need that particular die as stamps, you can use it with any stamps that you may have you are amazing and then of course there's all those hidden messages love you more oh big hugs amazing sentiments in there now ooh, it was just yeah i was doing rather well uh, wasn't i 16 pounds and 99 pence is your item uh, your price for one of them it remember is your choice now then we have got the stamps of course the stamps that have got they have been designed to work with the speaker boot but they will be perfect standalone let me show you a one here is the wish bag so you have got here and you can color it in but as as well it works so well on its own look at that pick a bow not pick a bow and then <laughs> And then you have got here the stamp and emboss into clear and it look, gives you a lovely sentiment. Of course, you have got all the little elements that you can put behind us with. And if you want to go for wish bag, the details are on the screen. Remember that the large stamp plus the smaller one. Then there is the other one that we have got for you, which is the the bookcase and I this is my favorite I have to say I love it because I to be honest I don't think I have got anything like this be, uh, and also has got a pussycat so I have to like oh, look at the mice and it's reading a book oh, um, oh is it is 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 there is a, um, I don't know if it exists in English the expression of um, uh, raton de biblioteca 
Uh, <laughs> raton, raton is 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 a uh, mouse and biblioteca is library. So it's uh, it's, uh, it's is the mouse from the library, something like that. So it's it's a, it's a, it's a way of saying that. Uh, <laughs> then of course, what what? <laughs> um, anyway. I just, it just speaks to me because it means all those people that love books, and I, I, I was very often referred as a rat on the biblioteca. <laughs> all right, anyway, 708520 is your item number. Now, of course, if you want to go for the die and the stamp, so you can go for this. So it's the circular one as well as the wish bag that matches beautifully. Your item number is 534442. Uh, 32 pounds and 98 pence for a massive set of stamps as well as that beautiful die, which are very versatile and will work on their own. That is what did we have got on the screen. Now, uh, if you wanted to go for the male one, um, we have got that option. Now, this is a red rubber stamp, clink foam mounted, which means that will give you beautiful impressions in here. So you just take it out of the acetate and, of course, keep the index so you know exactly what it, what it is. And, of course, you stamp it and, and then you can use it in combination of with that peekaboo, the, the square and rectangles, and that works so beautifully in here. Now, if you want to go for the uh, clean background stamp, 319673 is your item number. Uh, of course, uh, 999 is the price. Of course, um, Hero Arts is based in California, so that means for uh, it accounts for the extended delivery dispatch day from the 6th of May. Right, and here is the second demo from Helen. Here we've got another set from Hero Arts and these are really great. You've got all, everything to do with fish basically. You've got goldfish, you've got your koi carp um, and any type of fish you want to create from this set you can do. Any colours, they work really, really well. I think these are available individually but they all work together really, really well. You've got your background which is the waves. This is the, one of the cling ones, the rub, red rubber ones. If you are collecting these, we have different ones each time that we do Hero Arts for you and they are absolutely superb, very deeply etched. Then we've got this one here which has got all these individual little fishes on, lots of sentiments, really, really nice and the dies that go with them so you don't have to cut them out yourself. This one here is a really nice one. It's like a, a pond scene with a little koi carp or it could be any kind of fish in there that you like. Uh, this one here is like a little mini fish bowl. That one's really, really cute. Comes with the die, so you get the two things together there. And then the normal goldfish bowl with a big goldfish in there as well. So uh, let's crack on with the first demo. Show without bringing you some beautiful inks. As you know already, we've got the, the white, the black and the clear for you that is always really popular. But Hero Arts also do these Hero Hues, which are reactive inks, which means they will react with water or other mediums. So you really can have a fantastic play with them. I've sent a colour chart in, so you'll be able to have a little look, um, probably after the demo, at all the colours that are available. They really, really are stunning. Uh, let's crack on. So I'm going to, I've got some water um, and a big fat paintbrush, and I've got three of the inks and some watercolour card so I'm just going to put a little bit of this beautiful splash a little bit of pool party you can see how vibrant these are absolutely gorgeous and a little bit of the blue Hawaii and I've got a damp paintbrush let's just add a little bit of water to it not too much and I'm going to pick up first of all the splash and I'm just going to run that down this is gonna, we're gonna create a fish tank for this demo. A little bit of a stray hair there, let's get rid of that. Then let's add some of the pool party, just a, a little bit green it up a little bit. And then we'll just add a little bit of that Hawaii at the bottom there. So it looks like our tank's getting nice and dark at the bottom. And we'll try and finish off with a fairly straight line so that our water looks like it's just about reaching the top of that tank. You can go in and add some more if you want to add a little bit more colour. So just get rid of that excess and we'll just dry this off completely because we are going to add some of the amazing embossing powders uh, on today's show. So just giving that a little bit of a dry off. It's not completely bone dry because I'm going to add some more moisture now. 
Hero Arts on this show have provided us with some really, really nice misters. Now these are shimmer mists. Um, there are three of them available. There is the frost, which is kind of a blue. There is the pinkier one and there is the white iridescent. And I believe they're on a pick and mix, but we're going to use the white iridescent one, I think. So we're just going to shake it to wake it because all that mica is all down at the bottom there. And we're just going to give it a quick spritz over. Um, it's going to react with the ink that we've already put on there. I love these misters because they've got that intermediate um, bit on the plunger. So if you want to do a real full press down, you'll get a very um, fine misting of a coat. But if you just half press it, you get these really nice big globules as well. So let's just wipe this up underneath and then we're going to give it a really, really, really good job dry so that we can put some embossing powder on. So I've given that a really good dry. I'm going to hold it up a little bit and hopefully I'm in the right place um, and hopefully you can see that beautiful shimmer we've got going on. The shimmer sprays have reacted with those inks and given us a really nice effect. Looks like the bubbles in the water. That's really really stunning. So we're nice and dry and now we're going to use some of the embossing powders on today's show. They do do a fabulous selection, um, but today we've got these four different ones. And just to explain what they are, obviously clear, exactly what you think it is. White puff is exactly what you think it is. When, it, um, when you heat it, it will puff up. It makes wonderful clouds and bubbles, um, snow. It's a real fabulous one. It's a nice chunky one which will give you a great effect and then we've got sea and sand now the sea one is got quite large crystals of clear mixed with the blue so that one gives a really great effect for the sea i will show you that one in a later demo and this time we're just going to use the sand this one has large and small particles so when you heat it the embossing powder the larger crystals which are the darker brown there they will stay slightly raised above the thinner ones which is the more sandy color gives a great effect so i have got a piece of uh, card which i've just literally torn off there and i'm going to create some sand in the bottom of our fish tank i'm going to use the uh, clear ink on today's show and i'm going to use a bit of a sponge now i could go in with my ink pad but because these inks are reactive it's going to pick up and go onto my ink pad and i don't really want that to happen and ruin my ink pad so we'll just use a sponge instead and we'll use the card as a bit of a guide and i'm literally just tapping it on and because this is such a light color it's not going to affect this ink pad by putting it back in after it's been on the sponge There we go. Piece of scrap paper there. And we'll add this lovely sand embossing powder. And you can see what I mean about the large and the small particles there. Let's get the stray ones. I'm going to just heat this up. And I'll be back with you in a second. I thought it was cruel not to let you see the embossing powder change, and it's one of my favourite, favourite things to watch. And you can see that those raised particles sit just on top of the lighter colour, giving you a really great sound effect. Hopefully you can see that. Now I have already um, stamped out and used the dies to cut out some of these elements so it just makes time a little bit faster. Uh, I'm just going to use some watercolour pens just to colour in these lovely little fishes. Let's make one of them a, a goldfish. I stamped it on watercolour card just because it helps the pens blend a little bit. Mm. 
He is such a little cute fishy. Let's add some of the orange. And then we use the yellow to blend. We could actually paint with the inks on today's show because the reactive inks, you can very easily just pick them up with a water brush and you can paint with those as well if you wanted to. Let's make this one a little pinky. Poetic license. We can pretend that this is a tropical tank. And again, oh, wrong end. A little bit of a darker colour there. And we'll blend it in with the pink, the lighter pink. There we go. Looking great. So let's make our scene. A little bit of PVI, I think, just to stick them down. We're going to make this into a shaker card because I love shaker cards. I think they're great fun. They always bring a smile to my face um, and hopefully to the recipient too. Let's pop him just there and this one can be going over there just swimming again past the greenery let's add a sentiment now the easiest way to do this is by using our uh, mini mister so let's add a sentiment let's use our mini misty for this because if I do happen to go a little bit wrong I know that I can uh, restamp using this and I don't have to worry I love you like a fish loves water. I'm hooked on you, or you're a bowl of sunshine. Mm, I reckon you're a bowl of sunshine. So we can decide where we want it and place it exactly in the right spot. And we we'll use some of the lovely black dye ink. Just turn that round to make life a bit easier. I'm just gonna ink it up down here, hopefully you caught that and press it down stamp beautifully but if it didn't obviously I could go back in and do a little bit more by using the misty system so I've already gone ahead and I've cut myself the front of my fish tank I just took two rectangular dies um, one inside the other and some Miricard and I've added some acetate for, to the front there so this really can be a nice shaker card and I've added some foam around the edge there so that it will uh, hold everything in place. I'm using some um, sequins by Here We Are Arts, these are called Icicle but you could use anything in your stash and I'm just going to sprinkle some of those in the centre there. And then let's peel off the tape <clears throat> and we'll stick it on. Never peels off when you want it to, does it? set and we'll pop that on the front and we've got a lovely shaker let's just pop it onto a card and we're good to go we need a bit of tape Fab set, really great. And 
this is the car. Isn't it gorgeous? And of course, you, I was thinking that kind of, I almost think, oh, this looks like somebody I know. This might be, you know, kind of you add some uh, personality to them. Obviously, a cartoon character. I can immediately voice over, uh, think about what voice he would have and the, or what she would have or something like that. I think that would be like maybe a Sheffield accent or something like that. I don't know why. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Just thinking. And now, of course, you can say maybe maybe it could be southern, I don't know, it depends, or it could be maybe from Sevilla. Uh, it depends what you want to do. And this is why the gold fell fish, uh, you know, cling stamps, they kind of give you all those abilities. But we have got here, of course, the dye. The dye itself, I absolutely adore this dye because it's a bit different. It's a bit, it's a sort of symbolism that you want to put in. I know that, for instance, for Chinese, the goldfish is, has got a lot of different meanings. Also, I think for this time that we are in, it's kind of, you know, the solitude maybe speaks to some people, but I think they make glorious cars a bit different when you don't know what to send. Uh, and if you know that they like a little bit of ball of sunshine, this is perfect. If you want to go for these dyes, of course, they work perfectly on their own. Eight nine seven four nine nine. And remember, the ball dye, you can then put flowers on the top. It's not just a goldfish ball. Uh, 10 pounds and 99 pence. Then we have got, of course, clear stamps in here, which is what, uh, of course, uh, Helen was using in, in, in the hard demo. You have got different uh, fish, uh, you know, of course, different fish in here, different facing different options, uh, different sides. You have got the sentiments, you are a bowl of sunshine. I love you like a fish loves water. I'm hooked on you. I love those ones. And of course, you can create the shaker cards as Helen was showing. You can create them in different ways in there with, of course, the sea snail on the bottom. And of course, you can use them for with, you know, with the previous set to add those sentiments. 581391 is your item number, 12 pounds and 99 pence. And then, of course, we have got the dies that match perfectly those stamps, so you can place them over and you do not have to fussy cut at all. And I just wanted to show you how beautiful they look. It's just a bit different. It's just something that it kind of, in, you know, if you are tired of flowers, if you are tired of butterflies, why not send out goldfish? It has got a lot of meanings as well behind it. And I just think that it's just real. Not a, a real goldfish, a cart with a goldfish, you know. I mean, I don't know if you, if you can send them, but anyway, let's not go there. You have got here the frame cuts, so you have got the blade right on the inside of the blade, so you know exactly where you are stabbing. Can I mention quickly that you have got, of course, the cling. This is one of my favorites. So you have got here the cling six by six. Can you see in the background how it has been stamped and embossed? How beautiful it looks to add some detail, but not necessarily specific. I absolutely adore that. Please do go for it. Do check out your baskets for any of the Hero Arts products. Remember these inks. Remember to check out those, um, you know, check out offers that we have put in. Why not? The why nots. Uh, six, five, seven, four. To nine is the item number for that one. We are going to be back at 10 a.m. We will have a Skype call with Helen, and of course, there will be more demos by Helen herself. Thank you so much for um, the company this hour. After the break, more inspiration from Indigo Blue. Indigo Blue one day is special, of course, after Rega did say. Then design of fabric, happy hour, I'm so excited about that. And then, of course, uh, Helen will be back with us at Hero Hearts via the Skype. Hello, I'm Barbara. And I'm Julie. And together we're Scarlet Rose Crafts. We're a family-run business, been in business for two years, and our aim is to bring new and innovative new products to the crafting industry. We've both been involved in crafting industry for many years and we're continuing to move forward with our new company now. The Easy Mat Plate is our flagship product, uh, followed by our innovative Easy Shim product. Our range includes diamond trail plates, ultra-sized dies, cards and sticky sheets. We're constantly developing new and unusual products, so watch this space. On our shows, we hope to inspire you with our products so that you can carry on crafting, because our motto is, because we can. So don't miss the Scarlet Rose Craft Shows on a channel.
Hi, I'm Joe from The Mill Shop Online. Welcome to The Mill Shop Online. As you can see, we're a lot of fabric here. We're very passionate about our fabrics. We're one of the largest online sellers in the UK of fabrics for upholstery, soft furnishings, and now the lovely craft market. Coming up with the future with Hoichanda, The Mill Shop Online is going to bring lots more collections of beautiful fabrics, all inspired for your crafters, for your upholsterers, soft furnishings, everything for every project. All our designs for Hochanda, all our crafting elements, always very unique and very exclusive for Hochanda. Whether you're starting out with fabric or you're an experienced sewer, we love to bring projects that every ability can really have a go at. So don't miss the Meal Shop Online shows on Hochanda. Calling all the Chanda viewers, we have some exciting news for you. From the 1st of April, we will have a new schedule for our one day special shows. The one day special will now be shown live at 6 pm and 8 pm, followed by 8 am, 12 pm, and the final call at 4 pm the following day. This means that following your feedback, when we have a special two hour launch of the one day special at 5 pm and 6 pm, both hours will be available live to our free view viewers. So join us from the 1st of April for our new exciting one day special schedule, only on Achanda. Hello, my name's Stuart and I'm the Managing Director of Oakwood Archer. Oakwood Archer is a family run business and my son and my daughter work very hard with me to bring the best craft items to you in the UK. We specialise in high quality items brought into the UK from all over the world, including brands like Kaisercraft, Stampendous and Impression Obsession. Working with Achanda is fantastic for us. It gives us the opportunity to bring all of these brands and all of these products from all over the world direct to you, the crafter in the UK. Our products include stamps, dyes, papers, buttons, trimmings, ribbons and album making kits. Just about everything you need to be a good crafter. So please, don't miss Oakwood Archer Shows on Achanda. Hi, I'm Bev. Hi, I'm Sam. And we're from Be Crafty. Be Crafty is a family-run company. Sam is my sister. And we love bringing brand new products to Hachanda. We manufacture and design all our own ranges of stamps, inkables, MDF, lots and lots of inspiration that we love to bring and share with you. If you tune in to Hachanda to join us, you'll see that mine and Bev's style are totally different. But what that does is it brings you lots of styles and techniques that you can include in your crafting too. Our ranges are increasing all the time with the lovely hand-drawn images that Sam and myself are trying to bring to you plus the fantastic new designs that we like to bring in the inkables, in the dinkables and the MDF as well. So you can use them across all different sorts of crafts and bring the best we can to Hachanda too. So make sure you don't miss the Bee Crafty Shows on, on Hachanda. And that we have got a one day special that we launch at 6 p.m. every day and then it should last until uh, the next day at 6 p.m. It is an amazing, of course, product. It's the start of the day and today is brought to you by Indigo Blue, quintessentially British company that has always delivers amazing products that coordinate with each other and today's one day special is not different. It is, of course, the mixed media, metallics mixed media paint set with specialty mixed media paper pad. Now I need to tell you that we are f approaching 40% of the stock already gone. So do please, as soon as you make mind your mind out, check out those baskets to secure this exceptional uh, value for money bundle of elements in here. What do you get? Well, you do get those paint pals. You do get six metallic paper and uh, paints. You are getting the beautiful, you can see them, the green, the raven black, the uh, ruby slippers, the vodka martini. 
Sleeping Beauty. And of course, you are getting the King, I think it's the Kingfisher Blue in there. Now, the, you are getting those paints as well as an array of different substrates. Uh, you are getting the super smooth cardstock, so perfect to stamp and create a different uh, techniques in there to create the best results with stamping when you want that crisp impression. You are also getting handmade paper. And let me uh, show you because I'm the proud owner of one of them and I absolutely love them. Now what they do is you can create your own art journal out of it, a traveling journal. Our Charlotte, our producer, she's starting her, um, you know, art journaling uh, soon. And I would recommend something like this to create because it is a small, pro smaller pages and it feels that you can achieve a lot without, um, a, 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 you know, you without having to spend much time. Also, it will die cut beautifully just in case you wanted to know. Then you have got the dry paper in here as well. So I'm going to show you the size of it because um, it is uh, I think a3 size inside so it means that you have got a lot of possibilities a stamp and layer together and then of course you have got these um, the, it's, it's the why do you call it a gray mat or something like that? It's kind of a plastic surfaces that is very special. It's a play mat, I think it is called. But you can put paint into it, you can lift prints on it, you can create different effects as well. Now we have got Kay on the phone. Of course, Kay is the mind, the creative director, I would say, of, of Indigo Blue. Hello, Kay. <laughs> Hi, Paula. How are you? I'm all right. Is that, is that correct to say that you are the creative mind, the creative director of, of I Indigo guess Blue? So. I guess so, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> so you, ca you put all this together for this special one day, that, one day special? Yes, yeah, that, yes, that's definitely my job, I guess. I'm, I do all the lovely creative stuff, and Alfie does all of the important stuff, <laughs> shall we say. <laughs> well, I think both are equally important. Now, I love uh, your uh, the, the way that it's, it's a little bit of different mediums in here, or different plays, so you can have a good play. Yes. Yes, I mean, that was the whole idea, really. I mean, this, the paints speak for themselves. They've got a really good reputation. Um, the paints are mixed media, um, but packed full of pigment, really, really good quality, and people love them. So to put them in these small pots is exactly what um, we were requested to do. So getting um, a, a collection of some of my favorite surfaces to play with is brilliant, because then you can just um, have a play, see what you like, see the different techniques that you can do with them before committing to a, a larger pack of it. Um, and you're quite right with that there's a, a couple of paint mats in there yeah. that um, the mats, are yeah. brilliant for acrylic paint and um, the great thing is nothing sticks to it either so it's easy to just um, wash clean under cold water but I actually use them for resin as well oh, and okay. also for um, uh, making clay um, moulds as well because the resin, nothing sticks to it at all. Um, the only thing it doesn't like is heat, so don't heat okay. it like a heat mat. Um, but yeah, it, it's brilliant. And as you, as you quite rightly said, that you've got some A3 sheets of rice paper in there, two beautiful concertina journals that are handmade Indian rag cotton. So they will take any amount of abuse with okay. lots of watercolour and, and mediums and lots of layering. And it just won't pill at all because um, it's more like a fabric than, well, it is because yeah. it's got no wood in it. It is um, made out of pure cotton. Oh. And that's that's the ones the way you were talking about. Oh, I, I love I love that. Um, and also, I, I remember Leone doing a really cool project with this because he was kind of building scenes through it. And I kind of as soon as as you were opening, it was really really um, really cool. But also, you know, it die cuts beautifully as well, doesn't it? It does absolutely yes. And um, I would say um, you can make a beautiful book out of it, or you can separate them. Um, and use them individually, but it's such a lovely surface to work with. So yeah. if you've never tried it, this is a great way of just getting these additional um, pieces just to play with. And, um, and then finally, you've got the um, super smooth stamping card. You've got another five sheets of that as well. So if you're looking for a really crisp image for your silhouette stamps or any stamps that have got lots of blacking, like some of them featured today, um, these are perfect, absolutely perfect. We're just going to get a nice crisp 
finished. And what, um, do you know the GSM of the car stock? Um, I think off the top of my head it might be 2.8. Yeah, it does feel about, yeah, so, so you, you still could do a construction cart if you wanted to with it, wouldn't you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. perfect. Yeah. Now, uh, now, of course, <laughs> it, it, so, yep, yeah. go ahead. Um, all I was going to say with the stamping card, um, it doesn't like to get very wet, so don't do your watercolour techniques on the stamping card. Okay. Because it has got um, a, a surface uh, layer to it to accept the ink really beautifully. So save your watercolour techniques for your watercolour card. Okay, so it, it, it is kind of for something like to get uh, pr prime impressions and then you can use it, for, uh, not, not too much water, but you can add some. Like, will, will alcohol markers, I would imagine it will work really well as well. Oh, perfect. All sorts of markers work really perfect on that card. Um, and it does like um, ink, you know, your distressing techniques, all okay. of those are fantastic. It just doesn't like getting really soaked yeah. wet like a watercolour wash. Of course, yeah, because that would be for a watercolour paper there. Now, right, so if you want to go at home for the one day special, your item number is 317043, and of course, £28 is the price, making a saving of £8. Um, now, of course, okay, do you, would you want to stay in the phone while we talk about another product? Yes, of course, absolutely. I'm, of course, I'm because for you. Um, you know, having you know, it's, it's great that you can um, be at home, Kay. Is, but also, we want your knowledge to to share it with us. So we have got, of course, uh, here the translucent uh, paint set. Now, why did you why did you put these colors together, um, Kay? Well, um, when we started the um, the paints um, way back when, um, we started with matte colors. Um, that were opaque, you couldn't see through them, they were matte and almost chalky. Um, all of the paints I wanted to be uh, a true mixed media, which is quite revolutionary at the time. Um, and um, then we decided to bring in metallics, and then further we went with the translucents. So the translucents are what they say on the, on the tin, really. You can actually see through them, so they're great for layering, and they're superb for those colouring effects or uh, card making where you do layering or art journaling and uh, they mix beautifully, well all the paints mix beautifully together because they're pure pigments, you can get some really, really nice colours from them. So you can see that we've got a lovely red, which is red hot chilli, you've got a beautiful orange, which is tiger lily, and there is a, a lovely sharp lime colour which I adore, which is lime marmalade. Yeah. You've also got, um, what's my head on? Uh, so <laughs> then we have out. got uh, oh, the girl, slate. Which is the lovely blue, and we've also got Welsh slate. And that's really important, actually, um, because the Welsh slate are put in. Because if you want to darken any of those colours, you just put a, you mix just a tiny touch of Welsh slate in with it, and that will give you a darker hue to mm. the, um, the colour. So that's really, really a great colour to have in that set. So you've got uh, warm colours, um, uh, cool colours, and, uh, you know, they're just beautiful work together. So just have a play with them. And um, I have got some demos uh, later on that show you how to mix the paints as well. But remember, they are a fabric paint as well. So they're a true fabric paint that will um, cure on the fabric without having to iron it. So you can actually use it on 3D objects. Yeah. It's multi-surface as well, so it will go on to canvas, um, man-made fibres, yeah. um, natural fibres, um, MDF, wood, metal, plastic. Yeah, uh, but that's fabulous. And of course, I need to tell you that I believe the stock, over 30% of the stock has already gone. So if you are at home and you wanted to have a go with the translucent um, paints from Indigo Blue, your item number is 0938930, pounds and 99 pence. Can we keep you on the phone? Of course, oh, I good. <laughs> and this is lovely. This is almost like we, if you were here, uh, but of course in the safety of your home. Now here we have got different uh, pick and mix, so we have got all these uh, different options. I love this collection, Kay, because there is a little bit of mix of really different images as well as background stamps, which I think blend perfectly. 
So uh, some of the options that you have got here is, of course, the wonderful and weird, the old fossil, uh, discombobulated gentleman. Uh, I love the calculus, which is the one under your screen. Perfect background. Then we have got the per periodic table of elements. Again, perfect background. Then if we go down, we have got here the ledger background. And of course, it has got the, the, the splatters that as a separate stamp. Then we have got the crackle background. Then we have got the circle dot background. We have got the, uh, the honeycomb. And finally, we have got the script in there. Now, do you pick whichever three of them you wanted? And then uh, your price is on the screen. Now, Kay, uh, what, what, uh, can I ask you, what was the idea behind the discombobulated gentleman, of course, and Dali? Um, what did you want it to bring with the stamps? Well, um, to be honest, in actual fact, um, Alfie really helped out with these stamps because he actually um, uh, searched for these, and um, these were his selection of stamps. Um, and we, oh. um, we, we get a license for them. To use them, but he was one that um, actually searched for these. I think he was inspired by our time with um, uh, in India when we were with Andy Skinner, yes. and um, he spent. You know, we we all spent time with Andy and his style. Yeah. And I think um, you know that inspired Alfie to go off and find some really cool images. Um, so from his point of view, I think they're more masculine. But personally, I don't think that. I think. They can be used for anything, and I just love how quirky and different they are. Um, so, you know, instead of going for something uh, floral, which is what we're famous for, I just absolutely adore these stamps. They are so versatile, and they're great to use, and they're quite quirky and lovely. And then, of course, we've got all of my favorite sort of background stamps, which are a really good staple in your stash. Um, and... Um, so um, we decided to put them on a pick and mix, but if you wanted the three um, of the fossil and the discombobulated and those three images, especially one of Dali, which is fabulous. Oh, I love um, Dali, the one, <laughs> yes, yes, absolutely yeah. stunning. But it, it just, I just, and of course, this one it would be the three of, uh, the top three, right, you're talking about? Yes, well, those you can actually get at a special, special price as well. So um, I believe that, um, you can actually save £10 on actually buying those. Yeah. So, the details so are on, yeah, the details for that option are on the screen. 955-047 is the item number for those three stamps. £25.97, and pence, making a saving of £10. And I just, I th have to say, I love also the sentiments that you have got in here because it's, like you were saying, is that the, these sentiments are perfect for all genders and all ages as well. Wonderful and weird. And I love the sentiment that says, you might be a prehistoric. Here, let's go, let me show you. You might be prehistoric, but at least you are not extinct. <laughs> I think it's just, it's just funny and it has got a humor to it, but also with those fossils, it's just perfect. Yeah, yeah, Alfie has got a great sense of humor, actually. So <laughs> I love the fact that that actually shines through. And uh, yeah, it's, um, I think they're fantastic, actually. And uh, I, I love all the little quirky ones, like, like you showed the snail just then. And um, uh, it's, it's just uh, fantastic to work with and really, really versatile. So it really stretches your imagination. That's it. I love that. It stretches your imagination. I love that because it really it does do that. And also, I think it's it's a bit of, um, for instance, if you like into uh, more vintage uh, memory books and things like that, and you want to build your papers, every, all these elements will be perfect for the backgrounds. It doesn't need to be... Um, like kind of the forefront of the pattern, if you know what I mean. So I think they all work really well together. I, I really think it's, it's just fabulous the way that you can mix up as well with other products that you may have. This one by Emma Blake as well, I and mean, Caroline. And clean and simple as well. So they lend themselves to all sorts of styles and technique. Look at that. And right. I, I must just shout out to the uh, DT because they, again, have done a fabulous job. Yeah. And um, uh, they are such an amazing team. I'm really, really grateful for all of them. So thank you, guys. 
Yeah. Thank you. For us. Yeah. You've done uh, some really beautiful work. So, um, right. Thank yeah. you so much, Kay, for joining us today. Uh, it's a fabulous one-day special. I think you will be uh, talking as well at uh, uh, 12. 12. Now, of course, I get confused with the new times. <laughs> 12 with Hayley. Thank you so much, Kay. Stay safe. And you, Paola. Lots of love to everyone. Lots of love. Take care. Take care. Bye. 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 Uh, of course, remember that it's still, if you want to the pick a mix, maybe you want to choose whichever three. Maybe you want two backgrounds and one of the um, you know gentlemen. Uh, you can go for that option. Four five one four five three is your item number. Thirty pounds and ninety seven pence. Now, of course, uh, we uh, promised you demos by Kay. So here is the first one. Hi, everybody. Lovely to see you all. Um, I'm sorry we're not in the studio with you, but the team at Hachanda are doing a fantastic job. So I just wanted to share with you our ODS for today. Now, I'm really excited about this because this is all to do with you, because you guys wanted us to do these lovely little pots of paint, okay, because you love them so much, you wanted more colours but less in them because they last far too long. <laughs> Some of you apparently have had them going for years. So here we go, we've done one set which was really, really popular. So we've done what you've asked and we've brought together six new pots for you. So these are metallic, so these are absolutely delicious. Loads and loads of um, beautiful pigment and you get that lovely metallic sheen with it as well. Um, we've got Emerald City, we have uh, Ruby Slippers, which is a lovely red. We've got the beautiful blue, which is Sleeping Beauty. We have the Vodka Martini, which is the silver. We've got my favourite, which is Kingfisher Blue, which is a lovely teal colour. And the all-time favourite, Raven Black, which is great for mixing, which I will show you later on in the show. Okay, so we've got those and I've got a chart for you. Excuse me while I get these. So here we go with this lovely chart. So um, you can see they actually have good coverage. So even on the black, they cover really well. And hopefully you can see that gorgeous, gorgeous sheen with them. As with all of our stamps, uh, sorry, as with all of our paints, um, these will go onto fabric. So they're a true fabric paint. So uh, fabric, canvas, wood, metal, plastic, um, they're good to go for all of them, but they are true fabric paint as well, which is fantastic. And not only that, I've given you a fantastic um, kit of all of my favourite papers to play with. So to start with, you've got two of our famous um, uh, paint mats, which you use the shiny side to put your paint on and to mix it. And then you just wash it cold water, scrape it off, and uh, it's good to go for the next time. So that's brilliant. And um, we also have two of my favorite concertina journals, which are handmade with cotton rag in India. So again, a huge favorite favorite so that's back in stock I've been out of stock for a while so you get two of those you also get some um, media craft card just a couple of sheets of craft card as well you get five sheets of this huge favorite which is our rice paper look at that I'll stand back it's so big so a3 you get five sheets of those and then we have one, two, three, four, five sheets of our famous super smooth stamping card. So if you want crisp, beautiful um, images, this is the one to go for. So you've got a lovely bundle of papers there to play with and um, your beautiful, beautiful metallic paints all for a fantastic price. So um, snap them up quick because I know that they're not going to last long. So thank you so much for joining in and catch me later in the show with some demonstrations. So that was a very good rundown of what you are getting in the one day special. Now the stock, of course, now if we are 40% of the stock gone. So now is the time to check out those baskets for the amazing one day special. I just wanted to quickly show you uh, that a multi-surface paint, a mixed media paint, how gorgeous onto wood. I mean, look at the luster of there. Look at the beautiful colors there. And also like, um, of course, Kay was mentioning, it is a fabric paint as well. So you can kind of paint your own uh, sneakers here or maybe uh, maybe your 
to, uh, you know, maybe something like a tote bag or something like that to create those backgrounds. So it is a proper mixed media bundle here. Your item number 317043 is your item number. £28 is the price, making a saving of £8. Now, I did promise you a demo, so I believe in the next one is a proper demo now. Hello, so for our first demo I'm going to show you um, some nice little techniques and we're going to be using quite a few of the products on the show today and also this lovely stamp, Old Fossil, love that. So first of all I'm going to get a, a piece of the uh, card out of your ODS pack and I'm just going to use um, some of my uh, slap it on mat. So this is on the website. Uh, lots of you will already have this which is fantastic and um, I'm putting plenty on and I'm just going to stick down an old piece of text paper this is an old uh, dictionary um, that I, I've had and so I'm just going to pop that down here so I'll put it on the surface I also put it on the paper and then I go over the top and put it on the top and this will give you a really good stick and also um, you won't get any ridges or lumps and bumps because the flow rate is really cool and, and good on this. So let's bring the paper back in, let's lay this over the top, let's just slide that into position, that's good. And then flip it over and then you're going to go over the top again and that would just seal it all in as well and it gives you a nice primed surface as well just like putting gesso on so this can act like a, a clear gesso as well so just going to finish that off and then I like to tear the edges off rather than cut them off that corner doesn't want to stick down so let's just put a little bit on there there we go, that's good Okay, so make sure, so that was the slap it on mat, which is available on Ajanda's website. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a ruler, preferably when it's dry. And I'm just going to tear around the edges so that you get a nice soft edge there. Okay, and I've got one here that I did a little bit earlier. Okay, so <clears throat> what I'm going to be using is a roller, um, you'll need a spatula, you'll need your paint mat that comes in the one day special and I'm going to move this along so that you can, you can see well. In fact, let's just move that completely out of the way there. And this I'm actually going to use um, some of our paints that we've got available in the little pots um, which are translucent. So I'm going to use the Lime Marmalade, I'm going to use this lovely Tiger Lily, let's put that over here somewhere, I don't want to get it in the way of when I go rollering over it. So that's the Tiger Lily and the Lime Marmalade, but obviously you've got the lovely travel size pots as well. So I'm going to get my roller and just pick it up with a roller and I'm just going to blast it wherever I feel like going with it. And it doesn't have to be perfect, in fact I don't want it to be perfect. And I'm just going to wipe my roller a little bit. There we go. And then I'm going to go into the lovely, gorgeous, look at the colour, it's superb. That beautiful tiger lily, it's lovely. And so I'm going to come in here with that, mix it in a little bit. And the lovely thing about Translucent is you can still see what's on underneath, what's going on there. 
And of course, you can see at this part uh, number two of the, that uh, demonstration on Rewind. Uh, we shown la last night at 6 p.m. So if you go to hotchanda.com, Rewind, uh, you will be able to see ev or the whole continuation of that demo. But we have got brand new demos that we are wanted to show you. One of them, of course, features the beautiful uh, mixed media paints, the metallic ones. Now, this is what you are getting in the one day special. However, you know, it's a beautiful array of colors, but maybe you wanted to mix them and match them. So there is a K is showing us how to mix those beautiful mixed media paints here. Hi, um, I want to show you how to mix all of your lovely colors from the uh, one day special. And these are gorgeous metallics, high in pigment. So I want to show you how to mix them. And what I do is I've got this little um, Indian silk book um, that I actually do all my swatches in. So if I happen to be working on something and I, I you know, mixed a colour before I forget what I've done, I just put a little swatch in here and, um, and yeah, so I know what I've done. So, you know, you'll find little bits of card and stuff in here and it just, it just works so well. So I thought I would actually show you the versatility of these colours. So I clamp my book, okay, so I've got all my colours along here, let me just move that out of the way a little bit, okay, that's better. So here I've got my Kingfisher Blue, Vodka Martini, Raven Black, Sleeping Beauty and Ruby Slippers. Uh, oh, and Emerald Green, <laughs> okay, so just a little smidgen of emerald green let me just bring that in there okay right so um obviously i've got just plain kingfisher here so that's a, a good starting point um for you to know exactly what the the color is and also acrylics it's good to know that all acrylics it doesn't matter what make or brand they are they will all dry slightly darker than when they're wet. It's just the nature of the um, um, this type of paint. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here and use Vodka Martini like it is a... I'm going to come in a little bit closer, there we go. Like it's a white. Okay, so obviously if you add Vodka Martini to the Kingfisher, you're going to get a lighter colour. And the more you add, the lighter it, it's going to become. Okay, so I am going to do um, vodka martini. There we go. And then you just put your swatch on there. Just realised I put that down there and it should be up there. I don't know. My dyslexic mind. Back to front, upside down half the time. So if you wanted to add a bit more, you can do to get an even lighter colour. You can just go over the top there. That's good. Right, just clean my brush. And I'm just going to take my plain Kingfisher and put it where it's supposed to be, which is at the top of the page. <laughs> okay, there we go. So, Adding to this vodka martini and kingfisher, what's going to happen if I add another colour to that? I don't know. Let's try it, shall we? Okay, so let's go for a tiny, tiny little bit of Sleeping Beauty. Okay. Oh, that's nice. And that gives you a sort of petrol, marine blue. Wow. Oh, that is just gorgeous. I, yeah, I love that. So um, I'm going to go over the top of this now that it's dry. I've got a good dollop of that. That is just sumptuous. So before I forget, Kingfisher, Vodka Martini, and sleeping beauty that is 
delicious. That is really gorgeous. I'm loving that. Clean my brush. Okay, so if you take a little bit of Kingfisher and you add Raven Black, black obviously will deepen the colour and give you a shade colour. You're still going to have Kingfisher Blue, but it's going to be a really deep, dark colour. The more black you put in, the deeper it's going to be. So as you can see, wow, that is gorgeous. That is lovely. So that's a really rich, deep, dark Kingfisher. Obviously, if you put less in, it's going to be lighter than this. So I'm just putting a few coats on. Oh. Yeah, K strikes again. That's okay. It's only a swatch book. It's not life or death, is it? Right, so Kingfisher with Raven Black. Okay, so let's go back to a little bit of Kingfisher and a little bit of Sleeping Beauty. So this should be like the other one that we did with the vodka martini in it, but it's going to be deeper. So, yeah, yeah, that's just what a gorgeous colour is that. That's beautiful. So you can see it's the same colour, different tone. So this is the one with vodka martini in it, and this is the one where it's without vodka martini. Okay, so that's a bit gorgeous. I always teach this um, on all of our workshops as well because I always say that you need, with your paints, you need a white, a black and a grey and that way you can get any tint or tone of colour um, from what you have. So you can always use the, I, I use a black and white gesso when it's normal paint, i.e. translucent or matte. But with the metallics, you don't want to be using that because obviously you will lose the metallic aspect of it. So I've got Kingfisher now and I'm coming in to get some ruby slippers. So this should give me a deep, dark, bluey, purpley colour. Oh, that's rich, isn't it? Look at that. That's lovely, actually. That's a really nice, unusual colour. That's gorgeous. So see the red undertone that you ha you get with this? Yeah, that's lovely. So that is Kingfisher and Ruby slippers. Or slipper, whichever. And then we have Emerald City, so get a little tiny touch of this, a little touch of that. Oh wow, look at that. That is sort of teal on fire, isn't it? That is just gorgeous. Wow, that's lovely. Look at that. What beautiful colour. It's like a sea green, isn't it? Kingfisher and Emerald City. Fantastic. So what's going to happen, do you think, if we add some vodka martini to that? You're right, it's going to lighten it. So let's get some vodka martini in there. And lighten that up. There we go, mix it in. Mixes really well, really easily. I've got a lot of water on my brush because I keep obviously cleaning it in between, so let me just put a good dollop of this on here. So 
so Kingfisher and Emerald City and Vodka Martini so you know it's it's pretty endless really um, the amount you can do because you could just do a whole page of Kingfisher and Vodka Martini just the amount that you put in to make it lighter and lighter and lighter and then also with the Raven Black to make it darker darker and darker so you know the, the, the possibilities are endless so from you know these six pots here you've got so many more to go out um, and just you know fill your book up that's a bit wet at the moment but I'll just um, show you so I've already done a page of Emerald City as well so you get all those lovely greens obviously that's Kingfisher and I'm going to do the same with the, the the red ruby slippers and all the others and then you end up with a really good reference point of different colours all the way through yeah thank you and look at that uh, you can see in here can you imagine to create that palette of beautiful per and pearlescent or metallic uh, paints that you can customize and of course in the one day special you are getting six beautiful colors that then you can blend them in and to create in all those different hues and colors in there look at that and of course you can make a shadow with the raven black or create a hint with the bosca martini uh, with that kind of uh, silvery kind of pearl, pearl color in there but that is just one of the elements that you are getting in the one day special what else do you get well you are getting the super smooth stamping card five sheets of a4 you are getting two uh, cotton papers art journal made folded like this which is absolutely stunning our Leone loves this one so do I you can create a mini journal and because you are getting two you can glue them together and make them longer if you want it you also are getting the rice paper a3 size so you can stamp and make it into collage it's kind of a sort of tissue but it's different than tissue it's more almost like a it has got like a non-porous both sides where the tissue has got a porosity and that is much uh, stronger than regular tissue then you're getting two paint mats which are like Kay was saying basically it takes uh, nothing sticks to it so you have got all that ability to blend those inks and use it as a palette as well as a lifting of prints but in a different way from a jelly play and also you are getting two sheets of the craft card so it is a proper mixed media starter kit or a play kit to create different colors as well over 40 percent of the stock has already gone and remember that the paint is a multimedia a, a multimedium paint so you can paint it directly onto your wood you can paint it onto your um, of course your paper the handmade look at that then you can stamp on it if you wanted to on top but also of course it is a fabric paint because you can put it applied directly onto your canvases or fabric if you want to go for your one day special check out those baskets the number you need is 317043 28 pounds is your price and eight uh, you're saving eight pounds and if you are wondering how to make something like this well here is Kay to explain it exactly how it uh, she did it Hi, so for my next demo, I just wanted to show you that um, these paints are really special. Um, they will do fabric as well as rubber, so they will do natural fibres and man-made fibres as well. So if you want a great project for the kids, this is going to really help them because of course you can get plimsolls really cheaply these days um, and all you need is just a bit of a washing up sponge, cut it into pieces and get your one day special paints out, so these lovely metallics, put a little blob on your paint mat of each colour, this is vodka martini and start dabbing, as simple as that, so and it will cover beautifully So the kids will have a great time doing this. So that's vodka martini. I'm actually going to mix down here. I'm going to mix some vodka martini and some um, lovely 
or red, which is the ruby slippers. So I maybe needed a bit more vodka martini, but never mind. And then this is going to give me a soft pink. So can you see it even covers up those black and white stripes? Oh, that's lovely. Yeah. It's so good. What should we go for next? But teal. So just cut your sponges up into small bite-sized pieces and just keep the same sponge with the same colour. That's all you need to do. And then just let that rip. I have a friend. Hi, Anne. And from Lincoln, who did a pair of um, beautiful summer sandals, and they were absolutely gorgeous. And they had fl uh, leather flowers on, and um, she coloured those, and they looked amazing. I'm just going to take the paper out from the toe, then you're not hearing all that rustling. And then you just build up bit by bit. So let's have a bit of. Um, Sleeping Beauty on here and you can see that it even covers the rubber as well which is cool okay so people will be saying but don't you need to heat set this well actual fact you could heat set it with a heat gun um, obviously you're not going to get an iron on this but I would say just leave them to cure naturally um, I mean they are plimsoll so you know you're going to go out in, in the sun in them and they do cure naturally over time, so I would leave them a week before wearing them. But your kids are not going to wait that long, definitely. I certainly wouldn't. Anyway, so um, just give them a blast with the heat gun, um, and they will cure naturally as well. So I'm just going to come back in with that vodka martini, and I'm just going to soften that edge. So you can see how that's lightening that Sleeping Beauty. And making it a lighter blue so you can get like an ombre effect. Yeah, that works. And it's just a case of working your way around. If you wanted to do just one colour, go ahead, but I think it's so much more fun if you just let rip on on all of all of the colours that you've got. So I tend to do the outside of the shoe first. And then I actually go back and I do the, the tongue um, when the rest is dry. And if you wanted to keep any areas like this, black and white edge is quite nice. If you wanted to keep that, you can just cover it with um, masking tape. So I think go back in with some more vodka martini and just give it a little, a little susan on there. Can you see how that blends? Oops, sorry. Can you see how that blends beautifully? It's getting carried away in myself, enjoying myself far too much. And that's just blending really, really nicely. Let's try it over here as well, in between that blue and teal. So it just softens the edges. Oh, is that a gorgeous colour? Look at that. I'm liking that a lot. Oh, yum. That sort of... Mem and it's metallic as well, which I just love. So just carry on. Just carry on going all the way around until it's all covered, okay? And you can also do the same with the laces. So you can keep them white and nice and bright, or you can colour them just by wiping your sponges onto these and then colouring them. So I'm just going to show you what I've done here. So we have lots of different colours going on down the edges. And I've actually done the, the laces as well which look fab. And then I couldn't resist. I've actually started doodling. So can you see? <laughs> I've started doodling on the back of the 
with the shoes so I might just carry on doing a little bit of doodling on that but what a fun way to spend um, a couple of hours either with your own shoes or with your kids and just have fun playing with them there's another idea for you okay bye for now See you later. And I love that uh, canvas because uh, applying the one day special paints into the canvas. But also, of course, it features some stamps, which we are going to have a look in a second. Now, with the stamps, you have got uh, different options. You can go at a set of three. Of course, it's the old fossil, the um, wonderful and weird, as well as this, the discombobulated gentleman. If you go on uh, this uh, bundle, approaching half of the stock has already gone, and you have got a massive 10 pounds saving. You're paying 25 pounds and 97 pence for red rubber, deeply etched, already cut to size and clean form mounted. There you have it. If you want to go for all three of the new stamps, of, uh, of course, your item number is 955047. Or if you want to go for a pick and mix. Now, I probably would go for the pick and mix, and I definitely would go for Dali, but then I would, which is a weird and wonderful one. And then I absolutely adore some of these, um, well, most of, uh, of these background stands because then I can use them in different ways. Now, I'm thinking, how cool is to have the periodic table of elements? How gorgeous is to add those elements in the background in the here? You can see, let me grab another one. Uh, well, I cannot foresee it, so we'll have to do with it. But then you have got, of course, the calculus, the periodic table. Look at the calculus. Isn't that absolutely phenomenal? It's just different and also kind of adds those details in there. Then you have got as well in the bottom of here, uh, you have got uh, the ledger background, which is really, really cool. Now that one uh, gives you two stamps and I'm going to turn it over so you can see exactly how they come. So the splatters on the side are as a separate stamp, which means that you can choose whether you put them or not. Look at that. I just got a gorgeous. Then you have got, of course, the backgrounds, of course, the uh, crackle glaze. Then you have got the circle dot backgrounds, which is the one that featured on the cam um, that's a sneaker. And then, of course, we have got the honeycomb background as well as the script. You pick and mix whichever three you want. A6 in size are the size of the stamps. 451453 is your item number. 30 pounds and 97 pence is the price. Now, part two of that um, demo is coming up next. Hi, so um, what you can do is you can take this further. I've started doodling along the edges here of the shoe just with um, a Posca pen. And what you can do is you can do some bits of stamping. It's really cool to have like writing and pattern um, very loosely on, a, on shoes at the moment especially trainers. So this is my take on it. So I'm using Versafine. So you need um, an ink pad that is actually waterproof, okay, to be able to do this. And I'm free stamping and I'm just going to go for it. These are all from the pick and mix. And again, just a bit of free stamping. good <laughs> so much fun oh my 
my goodness, don't know about the kids. Just get your trainers out, girls. <laughs> Really, really liking this a lot. Doesn't that look cool? Yeah, loving that. <laughs> so just have a go. Get cracking. Thanks very much. See you in a minute. One day a special, of course, the indigo blue. You, of course, you are getting that beautiful paint, that metallic shimmer that can be mixed, and of course, it will be a, a fabric paint if you wish to use it. These are the colors that you are getting in the one day special. However, like Kay was showing, you can mix and create your own um, personalized custom blends. And look at that. This is some of the ones that Kay has been using. And even like this, doesn't it look beautiful? I sometimes painting with colors it's kind of just having those paints and mixing them and matching it makes it all a lot of fun including of course that paint will work on wood but what else do you get in the one day special well you are getting that glorious handmade paper part of your journal that you can trim up a tear it apart and create perfect fronts for your card or create a kind of a zigzag art journal you're also getting this smooth card in here uh, five shapes of the a4 so you will stand beautifully you can paint on it you can use your alcohol markers and water based markers of course features the here the paint included in the one day special also you have got tissue paper which is that right sorry rice paper of the tissue kind and it's not just tissue paper it is very different from any tissue paper it has got that porosity from both sides so it means that you can stamp and then with a, a mixed media glue you can attach it in the back and then of course you have got here the play mat two of them so you have got the paint oh sorry i always say play and it's paint mat i just want to play that's probably what it is this is what this one day special will do it will inspire you to play with the paint and the papers and create pretty fabulous pieces. £28 is your one day special but you can find more from Indigo Blue on the website and here it is. You can see the, of course those new stamps, the A, the set of three, you have got a massive saving there, the pick and mix. Of course um, Kay was mentioning the Indigo Blue uh, Gesso, the Gesso Good, both it comes in black and white, 100 ml of, that, uh, of each for 9.99. If you wanted to go for the cotton rag paper on its own, 9.99 is the price for 15 sheets of the 28 by 21 centimeters. This is small, slightly smaller than an A4. But you are having, for instance, if you want the artist quality texture paste with the fine, the true grid, there it is. If you wanted to go for the set of four, I know it's only a picture of three, but you're getting four of the six by three stencils. There you have got 13 pounds and 99 pence. You want some adhesives? They are there those foam packets they are fabulous I you know I love the sizes 12 by 12 uh, mil uh, with a 2 mil as well and um, thicknesses you want some watercolor card of course pink frog has got some for you which is uh, as one of my favorites and if you wanted something like the unicorn sparkle or super fine embossing powder also they are there on the website have a look of course at hochan.com for more um, products from indigo blue shop our brands or uh, you know just have a look at the beautiful imagery that they deliver time and time again. Quality, of course, is a wonder special from Indigo Blue. Quality and a lot of player possibilities with mixed media. Of course, Indigo Blue One Day Special is going to be back at 12 o'clock with Haley for more inspirations from Kay as well. Oh, designer fabric happy hour after break. A lot of uh, free spread uh, fabric as well as Mora and then Hero Arts. And then we'll let in Leonie Lewis after that. Hi, this is Els from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Elizabeth Craft Designs is a Colorado-based company. It's a family company, so husband, son, daughter all work in the company and then a fantastic team of designers because a company cannot exist without a great team around yourself. What we would like to share with you is my passion for crafts. We love all the concepts we have, so we have from cute till classic and beautiful designs. 
We love our journaling planner line and we are going to bring you our ideas, our passion and we hope to transfer that passion to you. So please join Elizabeth Craft Designs here at Hochenda. If you love cake and you love to bake, we've got something you're going to enjoy. Here at Achanda's Crafty Kitchen, we'll be introducing you to brand new guest demonstrators from the world of baking and cake decorating, who will be on hand to inspire you with sugar flour making techniques, food flavoring ideas, baking kits in a bottle, and as well as showcasing some very fashionable kitchen aprons. Watch out for brand new products, some very bespoke to the baking world, but others you can utilize within the world of craft, which will allow you more flexibility between the different mediums. Intrigued? Well, set your temperatures, set your timers, and tune in every fortnight to see what's in the oven on the Crafty Kitchen. Did you know you can continue watching Hochanda 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, for free, using your smart TV? It's just like watching us on your computer or tablet, only now we'll be on your large screen smart TV. Follow these easy steps to get your smart TV set up. Firstly, make sure your smart TV is connected to the internet, either through a wireless connection, if your TV supports it, or via the Ethernet port on the back of your TV. If you're not already connected, use your remote control and select network settings through your TV's menu and follow the instructions to set this up. Remember to have your router's password to hand, whether you're using a wired or wireless connection. This should be on the side or bottom of your router. You can always refer to your TV's help menu or instruction booklet for more information. Once you are set up, press the Smart Hub dedicated button on your remote. This will vary between brands, but it's usually located at the center of the remote. This is where you'll find your internet web browser app. Select this to open and then type hochanda.com into the search bar. And this will take you to our website homepage, which includes our live broadcast and access to previous shows. So now you can watch, purchase and catch up with your favorite shows 24 hours a day, seven days a week on your TV, whenever you feel crafty. Hi, I'm Leslie from Chocolate Baroque and we design and manufacture our own rubber stamps right here in the northeast of England. We have a wonderful in-house designer called Sue who hand draws all the images which we then transfer into rubber stamps. We have very, very elaborate designs. We have everything from steampunk right through to beautiful florals and then we have scenic and we have words. Our stamps are beautifully elaborate, very, very detailed, exquisitely etched, and the quality is next to none. So good that if you look after your stamps, we guarantee them for a lifetime. Whether it's stamping, mixed media, or art journaling, join us at Hajanda for our journey into everything creative and messy, and see what you can create with our stamps. supposed to say that. <laughs> that's like most embarrassing moment and I have had a few on live on air so that's just um don't take don't worry I'll take my revenge. Good morning. Oh, good morning. Uh, we have got an amazing happy hour ahead of us because it is fabulous fabulous fabric. I'm so excited. Uh, we have got more than we have got free spirit brands that you know the quality it is extraordinary beautiful fabric soft and of course a hundred percent cotton that you can use for your quilting your patchwork your you know different pieces that you want to use of course for canvas bags and makeup bags so much inspiration we are going to start with heather bailey which is one of the designers for free spirit 
Free Spirit being a manufacturer of beautiful fine fabrics, uh, K-Facet designs for them. Uh, there is so many uh, uh, great designers that they have got their fabric manufactured by Free Spirit. I am a big fan of the softness, the quality of their fabric. And now you have got here a pick and mix. You pick any two, and of course, they are half meters by 43 inches. Now it is a fabulous deal. It is quality, it is beautiful fabrics, different options for nine pounds and 98 pence. Look at that saving of six pence. Now I'm just gonna show you some of the options that you have got. Of course, refer to the website to see exactly all the options because that will be the best um, way to see them half meters and then you have got it there it's not a fat quarter it's a fa it's it's a half meter by 43 now, of course, I'm the worst at folding, so I'm kind of just going to put them here. So these ones are kind of more the, um, I would say, more um, tone and tone sort of colors here. But look at the beautiful. <gasps> love that. As this is the snowflake, right? I love this so much. And then you have got the snowflake in green. Look at that, mm, oh, gorgeous. Now, of course, this is a poinsettia, so it has got sort of a Christmas theme. However, like with the snowflake, I don't see it at all uh, as kind of Christmas. And this is a uh, poinsettia in ginger. We do uh, sometimes like some a little bit of ginger in our lives. And then, of course, you have got here, oh, look at that, the creams. And then, oh, primrose. I like that with the beautiful leaves in here. Another, oh, I love that one as well. I say I would, if I was I, uh, I would kind of put a several uh, pick and mix. This one is Dot Weave. Oh, look at, now I have to open this one. This is Summer House in turquoise. I love, absolutely love hexagons. I love all those different elements with a beautiful turquoise uh, color underneath. Look at, it's fresh, it's vibrant, it's beautiful. And of course, fussy cutting those ones. Now this, if you wanted paper, English paper piecing in a massive size, that wouldn't be stunning to have this in the center or placemat. Love, love that. If you wanted to have uh, this one is, um, this one is Summer House in Red. Of course, I'm looking at what the collection was. Look at that, look at Summer House in Red. And of course, the sticker won't be in here, but if, if it comes in, you just take it out. There it is. And then we have got Summer House in Pink. I'm sorry, Ben, our floor manager, he will have to do some work after, you know, <laughs> look at that, the stamina, I love that, I love that. And then we have got Summer House in Ginger. I love this color, actually, I have to say, this is actually really nice, isn't it? I just kind of, is that kind of mustardy rather than ginger, which some people might prefer mustard to ginger. Now, of course, there we have got that, and then we have got, ooh, this one, it's sprout, sprout, sprout ginger, and pink, look at that. I love this, and you could fussy cut some of these and do some applique, you know, Look at, but see, now you start seeing that pick and mix. You could go for uh, maybe the summer has that has got more like blending kind of pattern into it with that more focal, more contrasting way here. <gasps> Love this. This is wicker ginger. This is Leone in a fabric. Look at that. Look at that. She loves her ginger. He loves uh, her brand. And then we have got here. <gasps> Buttercup lemon. I mean, seriously, uh, let's gonna put it, um, put in the right. You can see that there. And remember, they are half meters by 43 inches. So you have got a lot of possibilities in there. Whether it's buttercup in jade, look at that. It's beautiful, isn't it? And of course, they all mix and match. They are, I think it's from the um, different collections. Once, but you can see that that's a buttercup in ginger. And then we have got a lot of ginger today. And then we have got, oh, look at those trays. This is Candy Blooms, Standy, Scandy. Oh, Dandy. <laughs> Dandy.
Dandy Bloom. Sorry, my hearing needs some clearing. Uh, and then we have got the Dandy Bloom in pink. Oh, love this. How pretty is that for a makeup bag? And I love how these blooms are kind of almost like halves as well. So then you can see, oh, there's so much possibilities in here. Fussy cutting. But remember, they are free spirit fabrics. You know the quality. If you know K-Facet fabrics, if you have, uh, if you went for Tula Pink fabric, they are the same manufacturers. If the designer, of course, of this one is Heather Bailey, which has got that kind of fresh, modern take on it. But it's the colors, the palette we work so well and this is posy in in aqua i love aqua do you know aqua is the word latin word for water and then uh, <laughs> the, uh, and this one a uh, rosy in uh, orange no no so posy no this is not orange olive <laughs> why i heard that i mean seriously my my hearing is just uh, uh, and then you get pink uh, posy, pink posy. Again, more of a blender. Now, uh, if you wanted to go, remember it's a pick and mix. Maybe just refer to the website to see exactly all the different options. 98 is the price. Remember, it's a full meter of free spirit fabrics. You know the quality, the softness, the amazing printing quality, the vibrancy of those colors transferred so well to 100% cotton. And then you have the summer houses, which is one of my favorites. A snowflake in green, a snowflake in red as well. You have got the poinsettia ginger 